Good morning. I am here with Mark uh, Steinkraus from the Swiss, uh, the Swiss Institute for Safety and Security. And Mark, I wanted to uh, ask you a little bit about the poster that uh, you presented. If you can tell me something about it. Yes, we have developed uh, some new devices for testing nanomaterials, highly active materials and highly uh, toxic chemicals. Um, what are uh, the special of these this chemicals? For example, highly active chemicals are uh, pharmaceutical products like cyto cytostatica or hormone active substances. And the, these substances make a very low concentrations damage of, of the health. So you have to, to uh, protect the people and uh, make containments and you have to know about the explosion properties from the substances when you handle it but without, uh, open, without open handling. So we uh, in develop some new devices. One of these devices are the burning test or combustibility index. We have here a, a particle filter on the left side and the airflow came from the left side. The substance is inside uh, the, the device. We have here one port for, to ignite uh, the substance and on the other side we have also a, a particle, gas and particle filter. And we can ignite the substance and make the test inside this small containment. This is one. The second one is we modified the 20 liter sphere. We have a modified design. Uh, we have here a pressurized dust container. This container is a mobile container, so we can put, put in the substances uh, out uh, from, from the sphere in a, in a glove box. So we have no open handling and no contact from, uh, the, from the people uh, to, to the substance and then we can make this test in, in this device. For this one we have uh, an additional electrode inside and uh, a new deflect deflector design. This we need after the test for uh, ignite uh, a second substance, uh, for example ethanol. Then after the, after the, uh, the test of the powder make it with, with gas, ignite it, so the rest of the substance are burning out. And the third one is the handling of, uh, uh, to make uh, decomposition tests in, uh, in one of our uh, uh, crucibles. We have here for uh, Citaram C80 calorimetry uh, a crucible, we fill in the substance here also with uh, in a, in a glove box, and then we make a decom decom uh, decomposition tests. For example, we have here the metomyl substance. You can see here uh, the heat, the heat, heat capacity, and here the de the decomposition. Also, we can measure the press the pressure directly, and after that, we can collect the decomposition gases and analyze this in the chromatography. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, another question, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about your overall experience at the third Latin American conference in, in process safety. Your overall experience? Our overall experience uh, from the Swiss Safety Institute is uh, at first the chemical, the chemical process safety. This is our main, main business and explosion protection. We have an accredited laboratory to make all, all these tests here and, and, other, and other tests in, in calorimetry or uh, minimum ignition energy, minimum ignition temperature for, for, uh, for dust, for, for, powder, for powders. We uh, make also uh, risk analysis, different type of risk analysis, seal assessment, low pass, uh, quantitative risk assessment, hazards, Zurich hazard analysis, and uh, we give some expertise, uh, uh, not only the measurements, but we give additional expertise and, and uh, measures to handle, to make uh, a safe, uh, so you can make safe reactions in, in, your, in the companies.
Thank you very much, Mark, uh, for this time, for the interview, and also for participating in the conference. Thank you very much.